It's a book that I've been working on now for over a year. And the second book is again about comfort food because yes. I realized there were still so many more comfort food stories to tell. And so it was a great opportunity to bring you 11 total chapters. The 11th chapter is the holiday chapter, right. exclusive for QVC. Mm -hmm. So nowhere when this is available in bookstores across the country, they won't get the bonus chapter. Only you guys who are shopping, and as Carolyn mentions, it's that special Christmas in July oh, price no, just for this month. No, yeah. no, and so, uh, listen, um, get yours now. Get several. These are going to make great holiday gifts or a gift for any foodie on your list. David actually went hard to work with our kitchen uh, st food styling team and created practically all new things for the table today. Well, exactly. The, the book has been presented now for three uh, presentations, yes. and oh. so I really changed everything up. Excuse me? 71,500 copies sold in three <laughs> presentations. So we want I'm to show so you grateful. So Thank here's you. some food you haven't seen before on those presentations. So let's get started because there's chapters in this book that take you through drinks, appetizers, healthy, quick and easy. There's even a chapter for pressure cookers. Exactly, and All slow kinds. cookers, and yeah. there's a comfort food light chapter as well. Mm -hmm. But why don't we begin and mix okay. and mingle the party, uh, the party okay. chapter. And living here in the shadow of Philadelphia, okay. cheesesteaks is what everybody loves down okay. on South Street. Mm -hmm. So I really love egg rolls. So I thought, what better way to combine two things that I love? Chicken cheesesteak egg rolls. Get out of town. These are awesome. They're a fan favorite. It's one of the recipes we had done on the show, and they're so easy to make, and they're cheesy and full of chunks of chicken and wonderful spices, and they're ooey gooey and oh, just perfect. Go, oh, go <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, the cheese is so good. Aren't and, they fun? And oh my gosh, they're crispy on the outside. Exactly. Ooey gooey on the inside. Oh, David, those are wonderful. And you get all that wonderful mm. crunch and the wonderful gooey, cheesy, chickeny filling, mm. which is so great. Mm -hmm. Now, you know my love affair with cheese and bacon. Mm -hmm. This is my warm bacon cheese dip served no in a bread way. bowl. Now, I did this one actually in uh, a pumpernickel bread bowl. You can do it in sourdough, you can do it in whatever you like, and it mm -hmm. makes enough to actually do two bread bowls. We oh. did one, but the recipe actually makes enough filling to do two, but it's warm, it's you cheesy, it's got out. hickory smoked bacon in it. Okay, look at this. And we just put a little bit of pumpernickel bread in there, but you could do whatever you like to dip. And whatever stuff. you love, oh, exactly right. I gotta get right. that big blob of cheese. Come on, get that cheese. Oh, 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 get him. Come on. Come on, use your fingers. That's what we do down <laughs> south. <laughs> oh, God. Isn't Hold that on. yummy? That gets a happy smack. Absolutely, oh, I love it. Gosh. Now, let's go mm. into brunch and beyond mm -hmm. because it's Sunday and mm. we're all thinking about brunch today. This is strawberry mm. cream cheese stuffed French toast. Oh, man. One of my most favorite recipes for brunch. It's okay. easy, it's full of bright, delicious sweet strawberries oh. and creamy, creamy. Oh. Um, Cream Get cheese in out. there and filling. Dan, and we, I've got an extra fork for you. And for I use breakfast. brioche. Good morning, Dan. How are you, buddy? Mm. I brought my own. Good oh, deal. David. Isn't that great? That tastes like. Here you go, honey. My grandmother's fresh strawberries that she would put in pie because they get a little bit soft mm -hmm. and sweet in the, oh, that is so good. Isn't that fun? Oh. So, and it's easy to make, and this is something the kids will love. Isn't that great? The fun. <laughs> His eyeballs just did like a, a 360. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Oh. Well, let's talk about another great brunch okay. idea. These are my grits and uh, excuse me, grits and bacon uh, breakfast poppers. These Ooh. are a creamy, cheesy grits mm. and bacon filling, and they're rolled in panko and then flash fried and very they're not quickly. Tiny. And they're little, so they're about golf ball size, so you can have a really delicious kind of party appetizer for brunch. Oh my god! Full gosh. of great flavor. Little bacon bits inside. How about that. You do grits well. I oh do grits gosh. well. I grew up on grits. I love grits. And even so that's if you awesome. are scared of grits, you need to oh try no. these. Oh my gosh, are these delicious? <laughs> well, what oh. do you say we wash it down with a little bit of, um, mm. you know, sweet spirits? What All do you right. say? There's mm. a whole drink chapter in the new book, and it's called Shake and Stir. Okay. So it's got milkshakes, it's got cocktails, it's mm. got summer sweet tea punch. Mm -hmm. But how about a red velvet cake milkshake? Oh, how about it? America's favorite cake. And I blended it into a, a wonderful milkshake with cream cheese and wonderful vanilla ice cream more and hands. red velvet cake mix. Okay, we have to do a double. Oh, for the first <laughs> How time do you ever. Come up with this stuff. You know what? That's a lot of creative. Uh, a lot of creative juices flowing here. It's really fun. Oh my gosh. That's red velvet cake. It is liquid oh. red velvet cake, right? Mm. With fresh whipped topping and cherries on top. It's Can something the kids will love. It's a cake and it's a beverage. Oh, David. <laughs> That is delicious. I saw Rick Domeyer almost fell on the floor when he took a I sip. I think of he that drank like three quarters of it that night. Yeah, when he, he wouldn't put it down. All right, I'm sorry. I keep Stan. <laughs> Stan keeps giving me tons. Of <laughs> 
close to 73,000 wow. now ordered. Thank and we are you. slammed on oh, the lines. Over 1,000 of you just dumped on the phone for this. Oh. Um, okay, David. I spy something with vodka in it. Can I have a sip of that? Of course you may. <laughs> and this is something that I just really am so tickled with because it turned out so beautifully. Mm. This is my s'more martini. Mm. They make they make marshmallow infused vodka. Mm. So you buy the marshmallow vodka and they sell something called adult chocolate milk at the spirit store. Okay. Then you blend that. I put chocolate sauce inside the glass, freeze it in the freezer for about five, ten minutes. Uh, I dust the rim with crushed graham crackers and toast a marshmallow that floats in the top. Uh, it tastes just like a liquid s'more. Is this legal? Yeah, All as right. long as you're of age. Okay. I, okay. Um, you drink a milkshake, I'm having a martini. Mm. And that would be the difference between the two of us. Yes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not old enough. Can mm. I ask you a question? Of course you may. What this oh may my gosh. this may be, David. That's fabulous. The no most fun. beautiful oh, thing. David. I have ever seen in your cookbook. Well, this is. I'm from Indiana. Well, Come this is here, Mexican David. grilled corn. Mm -hmm. And elote oh. is what the Mexicans call this. And it's, it's grilled corn topped with scallions and queso fresco. Oh. So you oh, can gosh. do, you can buy that in the supermarket. It's really, really easy. And it adds a creaminess to it. There's a sauce on there as well that just mm. gives it some great spice and flavor. So you got a little bit of kind of like state fair food in here. Exactly. You've done everything. So many goodies. And you know, there's a pressure cooker chapter in the book. And yeah. so many of mm -hmm. our foodies ask for pressure cookers. Uh huh. Uh, will mm -hmm. buy pressure cookers and then need recipes for it. This this is one of my recipes in the pressure cooker chapter. It's a whole roasting chicken in the oh, pressure man. cooker. Fantastic. This cooks in just about 40 minutes in the uh, pressure cooker, and you've got all that delicious chicken broth there that can be repurposed for chicken soup and uh, chicken dumplings and all those goodies. So, some really great ideas in the pressure cooker. This has been on the air since last Sunday. Over 72,000 <laughs> copies pre ordered. By that, we mean it's going to ship out to you the week of October 7th. Get as many as you want now because at the end of July, the Christmas in July preview price goes up. Mm. Also, don't forget, you need to get it here because this is going to hit bookstores like it did last time and be a huge seller. But this version at QVC is special because you get the 11th chapter all about holiday recipes, right, David? Exactly. And if you want to talk a little bit about that holiday chapter, okay. I put together an entire holiday meal from start to finish warm apple cider mm. cocktails to begin your party. Mm -hmm. There is wonderful uh, lobster dip on crostinis. Oh but then we also brought out a few of the other goodies, kind of in the mm. dessert and the sides. This is my peppermint. Layer cake. Oh, that's it's heavenly. peppermint cream cheese frosting. You uh -huh. decorate it with crushed starlight mints, and you yeah. do this. It's just so Christmassy and gorgeous. And you can decorate it any way you like. These are my cho chocolate champagne truffles. Mm. Very easy to make. They sound super fancy. They're topped with edible gold leaf you buy at the craft store. So it's super so truffles, super easy. I always thought truffles were almost impossible. To no, make. they're super easy and. What's your side dish with my holiday chapter? These are sweet potato biscuits, oh. not buttermilk biscuits. Sweet potato biscuits, oh and I gosh. made a maple cinnamon butter to Yum. go with it. So some really great ideas in the holiday chapter, and that's only for QVC. So and you're not gonna find that anywhere else. Is but this here. your mama's recipe up here? This is my mom's chicken and rice casserole. Okay. We okay. had this, this all the time when I was a little boy because yeah. mom worked full time, and so what she would do is she'd make these ahead of time, freeze them, and then she'd call me and say, David, take this out and put it in the oven at about 4:30. By the time I'm home at 5:30, we'll have uh, dinner. So it's just perfect. It's good old fashioned comfort food. Chicken and rice. That is so. This cookbook is so homemade. <laughs> everything. Isn't it fun? Oh my God. Food has feeling. You, mm. you cook for your family, not just to feed them, you cook because you mm -hmm. love them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely true. Now, you all know me that macaroni and cheese is my most favorite dish in life. And right. I have three different <clears throat> recipes in the book for mac and cheese. Okay. But this one, in the first book. I ate some already. Exactly. <laughs> in my first book, I did a baked mac and cheese. <laughs> this is a skillet or a, or a stovetop mac and cheese. You can make this in 15 minutes. Mm. I made this Friday night for my dinner. I don't mind if I do. Go right in. I'm going <laughs> to serve it right here into our casserole dish. And you can make this. It's got five cheeses in it. Oh. You make baby. this in 15 minutes on the stovetop. So when you want to have homemade mac and cheese on a weeknight and you don't have much time, this is quick. Quick and easy. All right, we are very, very busy on the lines. Um, David's going to be later in the year doing lots of book signings. You'll get a chance to get your book autographed, which will make it even more special, especially nice. if you want to give it as a gift. Um, this is going to be fun. I see lots of sweets here in the center that I have not seen before. Well, we so brought in a couple of that we had not shown in some earlier presentations. Okay. Chocolate and peanut butter are probably two of God's most perfect foods. <laughs> and I love these because these are chocolate mm. peanut butter cup cookies. Mm. Now, you can grab one right there. I think there's some behind okay. us here, too. But you, um, what's That's great about these see. is that they're soft, they're delicious, and they're topped with chopped peanut butter cups, little mini peanut butter cups. Mm. And they're moist. Mm. And they're just so perfect for any mm. time of year. They are soft and chewy. These will be great oh. for your holiday gift cookie exchange, which mm. would be really fun. Now, mm. who among us doesn't love coconut cream pie? Well, I'm not raising my hand. Come on I now. Love it. This is the creamiest, most fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
coconut cream pie. It's easy and it's so creamy and delicious. I always used to watch Gilligan's Island when I was a little boy, and Marianne was always making coconut cream pies. That's right. How she baked them on the island just still escapes me. But I will tell you, um, it's they one had of those coconut situations. Coconut radio. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? It's one of those things where I just always love this concept of a creamy, wonderful <laughs> coconut cream pie with toasted coconut on top. How's this it taste? So silly good. Isn't it fun? Um, all right, come up, David. Come here. What you got? Oh, okay. That's become our famous double happy dance. All right, here you we go. Make it a dance? triple. Mm. Uh, I don't know if that's legal. All right, mm. I'm still working. Okay, on Okay, you go on. that way. I'm going this way. Ready? All right, here we go. Happy, happy dance, dance. happy dance. dance. Get it, get Come it. On. Woo! Lots oh my of gosh, fun. is that good? That crust is good. How about this? Oh my gosh. This <laughs> cheesecake is the best cheesecake you're ever going to eat in your life if you love Snickers. Oh, this is a is. Snicker candy bar Ooh. cheesecake. Dan, it is crazy. Oh. Swirled it's a cheesecake underneath. Poking at me, poking at me. And look at this. You oh, got man. Snicker bar cheesecake like nothing you've ever tasted in your lifetime. This is amazing. Oh, stop just holding it. I'm having a bite. That is so good. The crust is chocolate. It's chocolate, and then you've got a whole layer of the Snicker goodness underneath mm. the cheesecake, and I, then swirled mm, cheesecake, and then nummy, topped nummy, nummy. with more you, caramel and chocolate and Snickers. You nummy, make nummy. food fun again. Now, exactly. Dan, it should you're... be fun. You know, I always say that cooking should be joyful. And if you're not having a good time, don't do it. So you need good recipes that'll help you be excited in the kitchen to serve your family the things they'll love. And I mentioned slow cooking in the book, Miss mm -hmm. Carolyn. Yes. This is on the cover of the book. These are oh my boy. barbecue beef short ribs. They're so easy, and best of all, the slow cooker does all the heavy lifting. Here so Dan, you're not going to have to worry about this all day long because that does all the work for you. All right, Dan, have that. Now, Dan is very terrified of eating anything green, David. Or are you, are you not a fan of vegetables? So, so I, don't um, think, I don't think vegetables are food. I think vegetables are what food eats. <laughs> So we very much disguised okay. something green under lots of crispy French fried onions. However, David, this is not the green like bean French casserole on the box of onion recipe box. No, or, the, or on the, the back can. of the can of you know cream oh, of mushroom soup. soup. Mm -hmm. This is my homemade green bean casserole over the top, loaded mm -hmm. with all of the goodies that you're going to really enjoy. Great right. for a Sunday dinner. Don't it's be all scared. right there. Come on, I Dan. Will be. So Dan is eating green beans for the first time ever on national television. <laughs> oh, they really are green. And listen, if you made this, I know it's going to be good. Well, yeah, you know, the best be part delicious. is it's creamy, it's wonderful, it's crunchy on top mm -hmm. because it's everything you expect in green bean mm. casserole. Yum. But it's just a little richer, a little nicer, and it's all Ooh. homemade. Yeah, I know. Because, it, you know, we all get bored with that same green bean casserole every And I'll tell you, we tested this one two or three times to make sure we had it right. Oh, way better. You like? That is way, that tastes like homemade. Oh, I'm Fresh so bread. glad. That's really, really good. Isn't that fun? David, you're you sure amazing. sure that has beans in it? Yeah, it's got beans in there. Those, those, those are those green things. You yeah. are I'm amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're very busy on the lines. If you can use automated ordering, qvc.com mm -hmm. to place your order, your smartphone apps, over 75,000 books now Ooh. gone. And Carolyn, I'm also mm -hmm. told that we have some video of some images from inside oh, the book. Oh, can we show that? And I'm hoping we can roll that if we've got that, that handy, guys, because this is something that will give you a look at the, you know, the recipes have been finished mm -hmm. and the photography's all been done, but right now mm -hmm. the publisher is working on layout and design. Ooh. Those are my mac and cheese bites. Mm -hmm. Those are French onion soup dumplings. Yum. This is my brunch chapter with <laughs> Eggs Benedict casserole and uh, blueberry ricotta pancakes. Mm. So many wonderful and gorgeous photos in the book. And this is just a little sampling. There's my s'more martini. So many good ideas. That's my oh. summer peach tea punch. Mm. So easy. And that's my chili con carne, which you do oh in God. the slow cooker. That is, uh, right. oh, that's uh, pulled chicken. And those are the barbecue beef short ribs. Okay. So mm. many neat recipes and so many fun, gorgeous photos. You don't need to make room on your cookbook shelf for this because it's going to stay on your kitchen countertop all day long. You will love making every recipe out of this. This book is so new. David showed this last time, so I'm not scared to show you. We don't even have pages yet. It's being made right now. And tell me real quick, we have just a couple seconds left. How did you, you know, pick all these recipes? Because you must have had so many. Every, Every recipe is my concept. And I, I read food magazines and cookbooks like novels. Mm -hmm. I'm always online looking at new recipes. I make notes in the margins of magazines. I keep everything dog-eared on my mm -hmm. desk at home. I love putting together unique and wonderful concepts. Sat down with the team and really began to flesh out what the chapters would look like. Right. Okay. It has been a true labor of love. And I'm so uh -huh. thrilled that all of you are picking it up. And I hope from my kitchen to yours, it'll get people back around your dinner table. So again, 11 chapters. The 11th is exclusive to the QVC edition, which you can only get here, and you can only get this month at the Christmas in July preview sale price of just $17.21. Pre-order as many as you want. There's no limit to the number you can get. A lot of you are picking up several of these as gifts. They'll all ship out to you the week of October 7th. David, you